What's up, guys? I'm here in uh, my hotel in uh, where are we? El Paso, <laughs> and oh, I, and I got new braces. So I'm gonna be cooking my first meal. Well, that I'm filming here in El Paso. So today I'm gonna be making um, arroz con pollo, chicken with rice, with my own little twist. Okay, check it out. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the ingredients. Um, I got uh, chicken breast tenderloins, an onion, a bell pepper, a uh, yellow um, squash, the rice, and just like some seasoning, you know, just really <laughs> uh, North Suiza, caldo de pollo, salt and pepper, you know, because the hotel gives out free salt and pepper. And, uh, and I'm going to put a little chili powder, you know, because why not? All right, let's get to let's get down to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these up. I'm gonna dice this, dice this, and dice this. Um, I'm thinking about I'm probably gonna have to do the whole thing. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do it all. It'll be one cup of this and about about a quarter of this, like right where my hand is at. Okay. Okay, guys. It's Sunday. Um, I'm here making my dinner for for the week. I'm watching TV while this is going on. So um, what I have here, I diced up half an onion, half an onion. I don't need the whole onion, a whole one green bone pepper and one squash. I didn't dice this up. I just quartered it up. And um, I haven't cut this up yet, but I'm gonna cut um, about a quarter of this into about one inch pieces or half inch. And I have um, my rice, one cup of rice, that's soaking, um, you know, because I'm cleaning out all the starch, so it's not starchy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil. Shout out to my pre-workout and my fat burner and my magic bullet. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a little of olive oil in the pot. I'm going to, you know, brown the, uh, the rice and I'm going to throw in the onion. Let that caramelize a little bit. Now I'm going to throw in the, uh, the vegetables, you know, the bell pepper and the squash. Then I'm going to throw in the chicken. And I'm going to let all of that, you know, just brown up pretty nice. Let the chicken, chicken cook up, at least brown. And then I'll throw in about, about two cups of water. So I'll be, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we want to set this to about medium medium low you know start off low and this hotel is a little weird because the stove won't the stove won't turn on until you turn this knob right here so I'm gonna it's like a timer why well, I guess is okay because if you forget to turn it off then this will turn it off automatically so I'm gonna turn this on which will turn that on so as it heats I'm gonna put in a little olive oil and then my my onion will go in to my vegetables okay guys so a little olive oil that's gonna go in just like that let that you know let that kind of spread around okay guys now the first thing I'm gonna put in is the onions okay guys okay try to do this one-handed <laughs> I'm so talented actually I'm not that talented so I'm gonna stop the video for Okay guys, I got the uh, onions in. Now I'm gonna put the bell pepper. Bell pepper in. Um, yellow squash in. Come on, get in there. One handed, team one hand. Team one hand, team. Okay, so all the vegetables are in. Oh boy, this is gonna. This is the biggest pot that I that the hotel had had guys. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is enough. I'm a little worried that, um, gosh, that's not gonna be enough like room. But it should be okay. We'll be fine, guys. This will work out. I promise you, it's still gonna taste good. Okay, guys. So our vegetables are in the pot, and right now I'm just sweating the vegetables right now. I already added the salt and pepper. To the, to the mix, so I'm just kind of sweating that out, let that cook down a little more, 
and to the side I already have my uh, chicken that I cut up so in a little bit once I you know sweat this out for another about five minutes or so I'm gonna add the rice and then the chicken or and then after that um, we'll put the water and let it cook okay guys so I added the rice so I'm just gonna let this brown up for for a bit for a bit for a bit ha <laughs> ha no for a bit just let it just let it brown up and then next step would be to add the chicken so just let that go for you know a couple of minutes we're just gonna brown it up just for a little bit you know and we're gonna kind of mix it in with the veg with the vegetables a little just to mix that up then we'll add the chicken okay guys so I have this rice going with the vegetables I think it's about time no it's about time it is time to put in the chicken so now the next step well you know I've been saying next step put in the chicken but I'm act now I'm actually gonna do it all right guys now we have the chicken in and here comes the interesting part I haven't done this before it's kind of an experiment but whatever put in some chili powder yeah just go ahead and we'll just kind of sprinkle that on yeah just like that this is gonna be good guys I, I know it's not really traditional but I promise it's gonna be good now come on this is just brand new so I have to kind of work with it just like that there we go guys now the chicken this already had salt and pepper, so now I'm just gonna brown this and then I'll put in the cup of water. Or not brown it, like cook it a little and I'll put in two cups of water. Two cups. Okay, guys, so the chicken looks pretty cooked. I mean, like at the stage that I want it to be. So now we're gonna put in the water. I right here, two cups of water going right in. I'm probably gonna put two and a half cups only because of all the stuff that I put in correction three cups you basically just want to make sure that the water is um, more than the the rice and the chicken and the you know all that all that all of that good stuff you know so that's what you kind of want to do so I put three cups I'm actually thinking about that should be enough Dang, I'm not sure because, um, you know, because I had all this stuff. No, that should be good. Okay, three cups should be fine, guys. That should be fine. Because that's going to, yeah. Actually, this is this is good. Three, three cups is about right. I had one cup of rice, but then you got to consider the vegetables and the chicken. So that's going to add, like, another um, cup of water that you're going to need to put. So... You're just gonna let this sit, let this boil. Let this. We'll, now we're gonna get this to a high boil, and then the last step will, will to be put two cubes of North Suiza of caldo de pollo. Okay, guys. So at this point, not the water is boiling. At this stage, you want to go ahead and. Lower the temperature to about a quarter, like about medium low, you know, because at this point we just want to simmer it. Now, how are we going to do? Cover him up and just let it sit for 20 minutes and you're done. Okay, guys, so after about 20 minutes, if it still looks like this, I mean, obviously it needs to cook down a little more. Um, you want to check on it like every five minutes, just give it a little stir, you know? So, if it looks like this, don't worry guys. It's, it's It still needs to cook, okay? Just do it for another five, like every five minutes, just check on it, okay? Okay guys, so the, it's done. So this is your arroz con pollo. Um, it came out a little more soupy than I was hoping. But I, it's still good. It's still, it, it's it's cooked and it, it's good. Next time, instead of three cups, use two and a half, or even two. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Okay, guys, so I'm at work and I thought about this. Why, about my arroz con pollo and why it came out mushy like that last night. It's still, it's still cooked, it's still good. It, you know, taste is still there. But um, I was thinking, man, where did I mess up? But I had to, I figured it was either I put too much water, a little bit too much water, and um, then I thought the squash, the yellow squash, you know, because um, the squash itself gets mushy if it's cooked too long. So then I thought, man, where, how can I make that better? So I talked to my friend, my friend Jose, who cooks too. You know, he's like telling me what, you, what I should have done. And I, I was like, duh, I should have thought about this. But what I should have done, I should have put the yellow squash, like literally like five, the last five minutes when the rice is cooking. Like when the rice is simmering, you know, and when it's like almost like cooked, that's when you throw in the yellow squash and mix it in. You know, because if you leave it on, you know, from the be from the beginning to when it's actually done, you'll get a mushy um, product like what I got last night. Still good, still edible, edible. It's still tasting great. It's just not the texture that, not the, the rice texture, but it's still good, guys. I promise, make this recipe with the exception. Um, the bell peppers, I mean, the bell peppers would have been okay because that doesn't retain or have as much, like, you know, watery, you know, as, like a yellow squash does. But the thing to, add, to edit is um, cut up the banana squash, the, banana, the yellow squash, and throw that in towards the end. Don't do it in the beginning, guys. Towards the end, okay? Um, yes, I'm at work. I'm the field engineer out here on site. That's why I had this yellow vest on. Safety. But, um, yeah, guys. So try out my arroz con pollo recipe. It'll be very good. Great for you and the family.